I'm here to learn and learn how to manage hives. That sounds really interesting. Yes, I did. Thank you. Thank you. Malcolm? Yes. We're just sharing, uh, introducing ourselves to the group uh, again. My name is Malcolm. Uh, and what I'm going to share today is only the very, like, scratching, scratching of the surface. Um, the Melipona Chiche. I'm probably butchering this, but it's spelled this way. Um, these types of bees would sting with their mouths. Um, and so in the context of the Mayan Empire, these bees were sacred. Um, they were used in religious ceremonies, um, used for medicine, um, also used as sweeteners because honey is very sweet. Um, but also um, was used to make this hallucinogenic honey mead called Balche. But barrels and barrels and barrels of different types of honey. Yeah. Thank you, Amadi. Welcome yeah. back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Khalid, yeah. thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Well, it, it tells you that people are aware of the importance of honeybees. So we all have to help the bees in a different ways. If we cannot have bees in our backyard, at least we, we plant some flower plants that will benefit the bees as nectar or pollen. That will help the bees as well. Uh, what I'd like to do is, if I, I don't want to cut anybody's questions short, I have lemonade here cold water over here and we're going to allow you to suit up then we're going to go over to the where the bees are we just start building here mm -hmm. yeah. they're building a new one yeah this is oh wow yeah. this is the foundation this is the one and something uh, i don't know if this is true but i heard that if the in order to make drones they just put have a larger Okay. Yeah, it is. That's what I was showing them oh, here. Oh, okay. I just used the first part. It is true. Here, you see the difference? This is drone. Oh, is that the drone? It's yeah. popping out, and this is worker. Mm -hmm. and, and if you're, and you have to be careful with the heat because it could just accidentally expand and you just get all drones. Uh, not really. You're okay. talking about the heat, what? Oh, I don't, I mean, that was just in my head that... Um, no. <laughs> yeah, the drone actually... It's bigger, but they don't, the queen doesn't lay as many as she lays, the workers more. And only one drone just to meet with the queen? Uh, exactly. And then they yeah. all the rest of the drones? Yeah, they will laminate them, especially in the winter time. Mm -hmm. they, because they're lazy, they just keep eating the honey. <laughs> yeah, they, we, luckily we're not What's drones. What's going to happen, each, each of you guys are going to have a hive out here that you'll be responsible for maintaining. Yeah. Yeah. There you'll be you'll be working and identifying whatever problems. Yeah. This is all honey. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you uh, you yeah. I can work. I can be worked out. We work that out. Oh, that's hard. Yeah. Is it heavy? Ten pounds. Yeah. It's loaded, pounds. huh? Yeah. Oh, wow. And then do they? Do the and then the bees just once they oh. fill it up and they just so go heavy. to the next one? Are they yeah. pretty oh. organized about their? Mm -hmm. You start from the bottom, then you add another box to go to the top, wow. and they cap it. It's all 100% capped, so nothing will go wrong with it. It might granulate, but it's okay. It's and they similar cap to it. the honey they found in Egypt over 3,000 years, is still eatable. Wow. Wow. The honey doesn't have 3, oxygen. Years? It has what yeah. you call a hydrogen peroxide. So if you have a cut or burn, use honey. Yeah, do, bacteria can't grow in honey. Exactly. What? There I never a, knew that. That's there was so a 2,000-year-old cool. yeah, jar of honey. in the Holy honey. Quran, and the Bible, and the Torah, and all that. Whoa. So, yeah. There was and a jar of honey found in King Tut's tomb that's 2,000-year-old. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What? Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, these are important. <laughs> they used to mummify um, corpses in Egypt with honey and seal what? the sarcophagi with beeswax. Wow. What? So in other words, if you have like no refrigerator and you want to preserve uh, your meat, uh -huh. just put the meat inside <laughs> the <laughs> container full of honey or a dead body oh, wow. inside the honey. It will preserve it. This, you see the difference? This is wax. In the blackberry bushes, this is wax, the, but this is propolis. 
No, no, no. You eat it. It's good for your health. Huh? Yeah. Okay. You can buy it from a health store. I yeah. even sell it in my shop. And what's it called again? Propolis. Propolis. Yes. Good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So we'll go back over and uh, get everybody. Let me lead everybody out because we do have some uh, hornet's nests up here that I want to buy. Yeah. Okay. Can you please state your full name? Tria Plevis. Is my full name. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a particular reason as to why you joined the beekeeping apprenticeship program? Um, yes, I. It, it happened by accident. I, I stopped and saw the bee store that Kaleeb has in Oakland just because I, I liked the presentation. They had wooden. Uh, uh, beehive uh, looking things out in front so I just was you know oh hey this looks really cool and um, they had a flyer for the program which was just starting like in a week and I am very interested in organic agriculture and farming in general I'm a horse person and an artist so beekeeping is probably the most important uh, you know if you had one thing that you can't live without in agriculture besides water and air and soil it would probably be bees because the, if we do lose the bees that's really the end of humanity so it was just a great opportunity and it, it uh, you know I left a message called right back everything was ready to go everything's been wonderful it's just great just come here and learn all kinds of cool things and meet great people and my most memorable experience as a beekeeping apprentice has been um, just meeting these nice people. It's, it's such an interesting, diverse group. And, um, you know, what brings the, the, the individuals into the program. And several of the people already have their own beehives and they've been doing it for a while. And um, um, uh, I think that would be, you know, just the people in the program and Shyam is awesome he's just so easy going but he gets everything done and uh, I mean I don't know how he gets us all I mean he he's he's wonderful Shyam is very inspiring and wonderful to get this whole thing going and and Khalib is the beekeeper who's been keeping bees since he was six years old and Jean-Pierre is documenting all of this. And uh, so it's just been really great. Um, a few people are no longer in the program and that's kind of sad, but uh, I think, uh, you know, I try to tell people about it because it's, it's such a great program and I hope it's gonna continue. I, I think it's, I, I, it, because it's, it's fun and interesting and uh, all that. <laughs> All right, uh, so that is what I found out uh, so far. One thing that um, that came up in our uh, our last uh, class was figuring out uh, ways to petition the city where if land is not being used, what's the process to be able to, you know, keep bees on that unused land that's not being used by the city so but anyway so what i did and i just made these little ceramic discs mm -hmm. which i will fire next week if anybody wants to look at them um and, and i just did it really quickly because it was getting time for the studio to close but um, what might be fun to do is to just get some you know and the kids could even make the tiles top stuff is look like is that Oh, uh, that little silver, the little silver thing. Oh, you, uh, yeah, yeah. So when we come back, I'll clip them all. Okay. Right. I, I told uh, the, uh, brother Shaima, I, uh, I bought it for everybody. So. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you for bringing me. Yeah, no worries. I appreciate it. Take one train. Oh, okay. Everything will come loose.
Final honey. Noted. Guys, I'm gonna put him here. Okay. Let's turn the ribbon more to the high. We just to the end. Just me. Let's just leave him here for now. Getting older now. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah, the queen bee formal, right? I didn't touch the other frames. The reason why? Because the queen is laying. Part of it, honey. Part is eggs. It's a good frame. Yeah, that's that's loaded. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Abby. Yeah, that's good. Malcolm. Too young to be a second. All right. Oh, yes. That's nice. Good professional. Wow, that's beautiful. It smells good too. We're gonna do the extraction. That's the okay. funny part, the fun part. The fun part, funny part. <laughs> funny and fun. So is, is this enough done. or do I go I more? You're done. No, that's good enough. You're done. That's okay. Yeah. 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 So, so, so why don't you off more? What, what's yeah, the other side is okay too? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now the Look, next step. Who wants to come in? The barrel. Well, you see the honey is coming? Okay. You're okay, you're okay. Okay. See the honey start coming to the side. So it's the center? Just like making ice cream, Paul. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> making whipped cream. <laughs> Well, it doesn't look like there's a lot in there coming out. Still coming out, so I thought like we let it go a little more. Uh, and he okay. says there's another way once you scrape all that off to substitute. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's still more. Still more. Maybe this one? Mm -hmm. No, this also got a little more. Okay. And then you say it leaves the wax, the and the bees will just no, no, take no over problem. from there. Either way, the, it's just sending it out. So. The comb back. It's flying out like crazy. It, yeah, There's a lot of it coming out. Is it good to work in both directions? Maybe it is that... Mm, yeah, maybe you're yeah, right. Maybe, maybe it, it gets is. It from no, because angle. if it's going out this way, then I think this one yeah. maybe... Oh, it's heavy. My God. <laughs> Because it's darker, it means it's older, right? Older wax, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, so I have a question. So then what's, what's the purpose of scraping it when you have to put it in the thing anyway? And when I come out, it, 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 it opens. Open it up, open yeah, it up. I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Now I just... 
How old do you think this is? Like this is a couple of years old. Oh, really? I never harvested it. You never harvested it? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The good thing about it, you don't have to worry about it spoiling. Yeah. See it coming out? Even here? watch it going in there. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So smart. So All you have to do is move it out in the sun a little bit. It looks amazing. Americans in, um, in, in New York used to make a tea called um, Oswego tea out of bee balm. And Oswego tea comes from the, the Native American tribe called Oswego, right? Um, and so this tea that comes from bee balm is said to be good for congestion, headaches, sore throats. My name is Carl Lester Hill Jr. The best, I don't know if this quite answers your question, but the best knowledge that I received was basically the experience of just hanging around the bees. Because when we come over to the program, we go to the hives, right? So we suit up, and when we go to the hives, there's a zillion bees, okay? Well, when I go to my hive in the, at home, there's a zillion bees. Well, this um, relaxes me, gets me comfortable, comfortable with the bees flying around out here, and then that has been a tremendous help at home because now I'm not intimidated by the bees. My most memorable experience is when Hassan came out here and um, not Hassan, um, Malik came out here and uh, went through the hives. Uh, he doesn't wear gloves. He just wears a, um, a hood. And uh, once again, that comes back into relaxing. I had on a full bee suit, by the way. And once again, that comes back into the relaxing and being more comfortable around the bees and not being intimidated at all. And we did that pretty much every month. And that right there is a really good experience. Now, what I want you to do is grab you one of those pots, pass them around to the people. You're going to take these home with you, so this is... Okay. These made out of rice oil. Okay, boy. These are the rice oil. The biodegradable. Yeah, 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 they're rice holes. Oh, thank you. You put them in the ground. You can put them in the ground and they... Let me get some. Oh, this is made of what, if, what if we got a garden at home already? Big pardon? No, what if we got a garden at home already? Oh, if you got a garden at home already, just plant the seeds in your garden at home. Okay. Yeah, I'll just this is just basically for I want people to have an idea of what you can do now here. If you come in doing the your off days or whatever, like Malcolm came in, worked on working on highs. And uh, doing the, uh, you don't have to wait until the second Saturday. You can come in, start your seedling. If you don't, if you don't, you know, start your seedlings now. And or you can just, if you got a garden at home, there's some trend, some some of the plants you got, like the plants Hassam had picked up. They don't have to go into the pot. They can go directly in the ground. Just put it right, just about a, uh, an inch, an inch. Uh, in the uh, soil, and it'll germinate. It'll germinate. Like these plants here, like Hassan, give, give me the date on that plant over there, the ones you right, right here. Did. What's the date on that? 11 3 21. Okay, so those those are, they were planted today is a 13, 10 days ago. Those those are t those seedlings right there, 10, 10 days old. Those are sun, some of those are sunflowers. We're trying sunflowers this time of year. Let's see what happens. You can do, do experiments. Yep.
need to cut this? Yeah, I'm gonna give it. Right there. That's what I said. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
I probably just need like a not not bees in a hive, but just like the hive. Uh -huh. You know, an empty, empty hive. Yeah, empty hive. Say, yeah. Okay. Just to uh, show how to use the tool. Okay. Okay. Um, also, I'll, I'll, I'll do a presentation on like just the county uh, county law regulations. Yeah, regulations okay. and stuff okay. like that. So I'm gonna close. That's what I do in my classroom. I just mm -hmm. went on my cool. Aren't you supposed to get them a little wet? But the, the ground, the mud is. I mean, yeah, okay. the dirt uh, is. Right? And then you're going to put the water in there anyway. So it's the same thing. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, some of these things say six six inches apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I joined the beekeeping program because I really wanted to learn more about the bees, about you know the process of the honey, and also because I know like the bees are very important to our planet. And I remember sometimes uh, one quote that uh, Einstein said that if we don't care about the bees, our planet is gonna disappear very soon. So I was just really wanted to see more, uh, like experience that, and you know really understand why. What is the most intriguing piece of knowledge or skill you have obtained in the program thus far? Okay, so the most intriguing knowledge I get from the program, um, it was to experience the, the bees, um, to really like wear the best and uh, be around them. So I really understood more how they make the honey um, uh, you know, we get to see like the queen bee and, uh, you know, see all this, how they take care of her and, uh, you know, how they create the honey. And also they tell us after that, how they, you know, after they get all the honeycombs, how the bees are, how the honey is processed. So that's one of the things I learned the most. I don't like the situation with those friends here, can it? They can it stuck together somehow. The other one is different color. This one, the queen. Oh, look at her. oh. That and nice. Oh, Why is she darker? Look at her. She got a dragon. She's like, like, a, like a Russian uh, queen. The Russian queens become dark, uh -huh. and the Italian come yellow. You know, you cannot do stuff like this for a young queen. She will fly away. Really. <laughs> you gotta be quick, yeah. Oh, okay. You know, okay. I've seen that. You know, sometimes I grab the frame and she's a young queen, she takes off. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. She's like, I'm out of here. You full of energy, you know? So that's pre honey. They bring the nectar back. And I'm just, I'm sort of like winging it. And then the bee, the, the, the receptor bee eats it and then vomits it into the other bee. And the other bee. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They we have to tear the beans up. Yeah. I need what you got, Cheyenne. <laughs> he got that golf stream. Golf stream. <laughs> I gotta work on my backhand stroke on this. <laughs> <laughs> you got that front down though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, this was this, this tool hills before your time, JP. <laughs> <laughs> you got that experience. Look, <laughs> I've been doing this. <laughs> you 
Omar's got to come out. You should do the commentary. What's that? Hey. Oh, electric, huh? Yeah. He's my buddy. I know him like some year, 20 some years. Oh, wow. Yeah. He used to come and be honey with me and be. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Yeah. We did a lot of women. Hey. He was in, a, in one of the articles, me and him in a chronicle. Wow. So cool. Yes, I do have a reason why I joined the Bee Apprenticeship Program. I have a, I'm an amateur, and I went and bought two beehives, which uh, I still have one. Basically, what happened was um, they swarmed. Both beehives swarmed and were empty. And so well, I just left the hive there, and then about six weeks later, another swarm came and moved in. And so I want to learn more about how to keep bees, what to do, what not to do, how to prevent swarms, maybe go catch another swarm, etc. And that's why I joined. The most important, intriguing bit of knowledge I've obtained so far in the program is actually how the honey is made. And that was um, really uh, very interesting. And I, I actually had bees uh, in back in the early 1970s, so I had a little experience with bees, but I didn't... Uh, but the thing that I learned that was so interesting is that the bees bring... Like, there's worker bees that go out and they collect nectar, and then they come back into the beehive, and I, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is how it happens, but the bees actually regurgitate I don't know if it's the nectar or if it's something else, and then another bee comes along and swallows that regurgitation and then makes the honey. So there's a whole process for the honey, and I, I think it must not be the nectar because I think the nectar is... So there's so many things the bees do, and just if you realize that human beings cannot make honey, only bees can make honey, and... Um, they also bring the pollen, and they create a queen, they create drones and worker bees. There's just so many divisions of labor, which is so fa fascinating. Um, it's hard to narrow it down, but I think that the most intriguing is the actual work that the bees do do from uh, pollinating the flowers, which is what we, and making honey but how really complex it is and how they are so organized to, um, you know, to actually do it. And they're just, uh, they're so interesting. Um, I mean, everything about bees is interesting. And, uh, but I did not know until probably last, the last meeting here was how the bees actually have to have something that they put in their mouth, and I'm not sure if it's nectar, I'm going to have to find out the answer to that question, that they have to then get it into another bee's mouth, and then
then that bee makes it into honey, and then they fill the honeycomb up with the honey, and they cap it. And that's just one of the processes, because they also have larvae. They, you know, the queen, all she does is lay eggs. And um, so the bee, anyway, the, the, everything they do is fascinating. And, and I could go on and on about each little thing, because as I think about each little thing, I get excited <laughs> about what they do. <laughs> but also, we need the bees to fertilize so many uh, crops and uh, trees, like I know almonds are a big one, but um, yeah, they're just amazing, just amazing. So I think the memory experience I got was probably the first day I came, or the second day. Um, we were around the bees. And um, I got this thing by, I think, three bees. <laughs> and uh, it was really memorable. And uh, I will never forget, I think. Um, but it also, you know, teach me that one thing, I think, uh, Shazan told me that I'm not going to be, um, I wasn't allergic to the bees because I was OK. Uh, but after that, it was a little bit scary. But then later, I get just to it more and you know you just understood that you know you, with the smoke that they put and you had to have everything um were good and nothing was gonna happen to you so right now i'm not scared i'm okay going there with this my most memorable experience is uh just you know being able to be around bees uh, without you know being scared of bees or like you know being uh, worried about like being stink you just like see them and be their friend and just you know come down and relax and you know cooperate with them all right so Khalib, it's in your hands any questions you have for, uh, please and i want them to spend as much time today with the bees as possible because they got the charts they got to get caught up on right, right. yeah and, and any any other questions you have uh good morning everyone so <laughs> In today we're talking about today was it the 12th of March or what is it? Yeah, 12. Yeah, I mean it's flowers start to bloom and the bees start getting active. A uh, couple guys called me so far; they had swarms in their chimneys. No, excuse me. For the 16th, keep you continue going to be scheduled for the 16th. For the people who are scheduled for the 26th, we're going to have to schedule you a new day. Okay, what, what, what are the dates? The, the big one? April, April, April 16th. April 16th. April 16th. 10 o'clock? Yeah. 10 o'clock, same time, same place. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 10, 10, 10 to 3. We, we schedule it 10 to 3, and lunch will be provided.